Hey, how are you doing ninjas? Today we're going to be looking to a fast way to add users to your computer. I just want to ask you to leave your like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. And if you have any ideas on future topics or videos, uh, just comment below. I would love to hear you what you think. So if you're a system administrator, you're going to be adding users all the time when you are building machines and building laptops to deploy. So uh, there's a fast way to uh, make users if you're not aware of yet. So uh, here it is. So you want to press Windows and type CMD. And you want to do is a code control shift enter. And that's going to run the command as a system administrator. Click yes. And what you want to do is that you want to type net user. And uh, if you type on its own, it's going to reveal all the users that are currently on the computer. So this is the local computer. Uh, and if you are, uh, depending how the system is on your business, or if you're deploying local users, if you're not attached to a domain name server, uh, you want to do like a local users. So I'm going to give ex the example today. So to create a new user, you want to type net user, the name of the user. So I'm going to type John on the password for the user. So I'm simply going to put 202015 space forward slash add. So this command is going to create a local user on the computer. Uh, you can also add more options to this command. Uh, like if you want to add a full name or if you want to add any notes to when you're creating this user uh, You can also add flags to it uh, For the purpose, I'm not gonna do that for now But I'm gonna leave a description on the video some of the flags that you can be using when you're creating a new user Just these should be enough to create a user on the local computer. So I'm gonna press enter And as you can see the user has been created successfully So I'm gonna check here press Windows and and as you can see, I have John created. Another command that you'll be using is a changing user password. So uh, you can do that by uh, two ways. So one way is that if you type net user, the name of the user that you would like to change the password, and just type the password that you want. So I'm gonna make a very easy password and press enter. And as you can see, that has changed the password for the user. Now, the second option that you can change the password for the user is uh, using the asterisk option. And uh, the way that you would use that is that if you're sitting next to a user or if you're on a remote session and you would like the user to input a password and uh, you do not want to see the password that he's typing. So what you want to do is that you want to type net user, the name of the user and space and asterisks. So you press enter. Now the user is going to be prompted to type the password and now he's going to be typing in, but it's not going to be showing any feedback on the command line. So just make sure that the user is aware of that because that can catch up some people by surprise. So uh, I'm just going to type the same password again. Press enter and he's asking to confirm the password. And the command has completed it successfully. So these are two ways to change the password for a user. Another command that you'll be using quite often, I believe, is just deleting the user. So net user, type the name of the user you want to delete, space forward slash, and delete. Or just tell. Press enter. And as you can see, the user has been deleted. Check again in that user. And John is no longer part of our local accounts. So that's an easy way for you to just add and remove users and change the password. If you like the video and uh, would like to see more tips and tricks on how to speed up your system administrator uh, workflow, uh, just click like the button and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, guys. I'm planning out some more videos to come out and I'm been trying to get more videos out more frequently. And if you have any ideas of uh, what types of videos they would like to see, any tips on any specific topics, uh, just comment below. I'm uh, really curious to see uh, what you guys are thinking of the videos and uh, how can we improve it. So uh, thank you so much for the support, guys, and I'll see you next time.